Hello everybody, this is Project Revolution 07. I'm going to be showing you today how to install a DVD drive. Well, not any DVD drive, just the, the Corian one that can read Xbox 360 discs. Uh, this is a voiceover if you're wondering. <laughs> I'm doing this all one handed. So yeah, give me a bit of slack. Uh, it's pre flashed with Corian firmware. Alright, now going, going to open up the PC. This PC is very good because you, it lets you open it up very quickly without any any hassle really. You just push in the two side buttons and then you can change out the DVD very easily by just changing a few screws around. So, yeah. Okay, this is my PC. Uh, this is the DVD drive. That's the hard drive. And beneath the DVD drive is the floppy drive. Have we just want to change the CD DVD drive? Alright, so you have to take out all the cables. Uh, that one that I'm doing very now is very hard. That's why the other two are so easy. But make sure you don't break them because it'd be a pain in the ass to restore. All right. Just give me a second here. That's that's definitely the hardest one to take out, but you just have to yank it out. Try not to be too forceful. Just there we go. All right, all right. Finally got it out. So now. All you have to do is is hold down, well, squeeze together these two green flaps on the side. But this is really only if you have my kind of PC. I don't even know what it's called, so. So you just squeeze them together and lift them up. Alright. Okay, now we're going to unscrew these green flaps by using a crosshaired screwdriver, just one that fits. Uh, beware, you need to do this on a tower PC as well, basically, so you can fix it all up. You can fix everything together so it won't fall down and crush your PC internally. And you wouldn't want that to happen to a 300-400 pound worth of equipment. So make sure you screw them into the right place when you screw them into the other DVD drive. Okay, now just just comparing them. So yeah, the green things have been successfully transferred from one to the other. And as you can see, the new one is a bit shorter than the old one, but that doesn't really matter. You just need to have long enough cables, which you probably will do. So, and the front, comparing the front, you have one says DVD combo or DVD multiplayer. And nothing really on the other. So, so 
Now we're going to put it back into the PC. First of all, you want to close the DVD. You want to close your PC up again, just so you can see which way you want, which way you want the DVD player. And because there's a button, it has to all link up. All right, then you open it back up, and then you have to insert your DV, your new DVD drive, back in. This should be pretty easy. Then all you have to do is plug in all the cables again. It's very hard doing this one handed, I can tell you that. <laughs> so it just slots in very simply. Cables attach. And your PC should already have the right drivers for this DVD drive. Or it's already on the DVD drive, I don't really know. Right, now you can close it back up, put everything back where it was, so like my monitor, etc. There we go. Just put the monitor back on. Well, it's just for me, you don't have to do the same. Right, now I'm going to switch, right, switch over onto the PC, but beforehand you have to turn on your power. So, yeah. Before you do this, turn off your power, I forgot to mention. Alright. So, just quickly test your DVD drive. See if it worked. Open and close. Yeah, that's nice. So yeah, just just before you start up your whole PC. All right. So now just switch to the PC and I'll show you how to rip a game. This for this demo, I'm just gonna show you how to rip this game, Xbox Live Arcade. Okay, just pop open the case and insert the disc into your DVD drive, your new one. Alright, I'm just going to check my DVD drive, see what's in there. So just open it using folder. And as you'll see, it looks like a, like the inside of a DVD, which has videos on it. However, it's only... 5.3 megabyte around that 31 megabyte so that's that's kind of a decoy that Microsoft put in just to fool you so you can't copy it okay now that we've inserted our disk we're gonna want to select the right drive if you have a different if you have two or more if you have one or more drives just make sure it's the right drive Okay, then you're gonna want to. Then we're gonna want to come down here, and I'm gonna quickly explain a few things to you. Okay, um, it says it's found our DVD drive then that we just installed, and it says it's got the Corian firmware on it, version 1.0. Oh. Uh, image burn executable not found. It's not really important at the moment. And then, getting media info from D. It says the media type is DVD ROM, and the bytes used are 5.32 megabyte. So that's just a decoy that Microsoft put in there. It's just a little video with the Xbox logo. All right. So first of all, we're going to want to go to Drive Tools. Okay. Then you can unlock the drive here. And then if you see at the bottom here, we get new getting media info. It's DVD-ROM, and it's 6.81 gigabyte now. All right. So then you want to go over to Read. Wait a few seconds, then you want to have a complete backup, okay? Okay, then you press start, then you save it as whatever you want to call it. So this is Xbox, uh, this is Xbox Live Arcade. Alright, so just hit enter, save. Uh, of course, I don't have enough space in my drive at the moment. So yeah, that's what you do, and then it'll take about half an hour to save. Alright, thanks, and good luck. I'm going to make another video soon talking about how you can 
burn these image files. Alright, see ya. Fighting on the sea, we go when we chop your head off. This is what we sing. We all love her, we all love her, we all love her. Hey!